Hi, preschool friends. Today we have been talking about insects and how they protect themselves from predators. One of the best ways that an insect protects itself is by having its skeleton on the outside of its body. Do you remember what it's called when the skeleton is on the outside of your body? You're right, it's called an exoskeleton. Our skeletons or bones are on the inside of our body and they help to protect us too. So an exoskeleton helps the insect to be more hard. And when they're hard like that, it's harder for the predator to eat them or hurt them. Some insects protect themselves by being really brightly colored. This makes the predators think that they are dangerous and they stay away. Some insects are able to camouflage or hide themselves like in the trees or the flowers or the grass or on leaves. They look just like their surroundings. And some insects spray a smelly spray or even taste bad and that makes predators stay away from them. So in our story today, we are going to learn about an insect that is able to camouflage themselves to keep safe from predators. And that insect is a walking stick. So in this book, we have an insect called a walking stick, and it is right here. It looks just like a stick, and they can blend in with the branches and the other sticks and keep safe from predators. So this story is called Good Trick Walking Stick, and the author of this book is Sherry M. Bester. That means she wrote all the words. And the illustrator is Johnny Lambert. That means he drew the pictures. So let's find out about the walking stick and how they keep themselves safe. Good trick, walking stick. Drop, plop, drop. Tiny eggs fall to the ground like a slow rain on an autumn day. Leaves float on the breeze and hide the eggs. The air turns crisp. That means cold. Snowflakes drift down. That means they're falling. The woods are covered in a blanket of white. Underground, very deep, the eggs are safe. You might wonder how tiny walking sticks' eggs survive through the winter in the snow. Well, the ants think that the eggs look and smell like seeds. So they take them down into their homes and they eat the tops off of the egg. When they're finished, they take them to their garbage pile, which is also still underground. So even though the ants ate the top of the egg off, the egg is still safe and it's buried in a nice warm spot to survive the winter. When spring comes, the sun melts the snow. Drip, drip, drip. It warms the earth. An egg moves. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pop! Out crawls an insect. It looks like a stick. It can walk. It is a walking stick. Do you think you would be able to recognize a baby walking stick? I think you would because they look just like the adults, just a little bit smaller. The baby walking stick is hungry. She begins her search for food. She finds a leaf that is low to the ground. She eats munch and eats munch and eats munch munch so a baby walking stick is called a nymph and they're really small but as they grow and eat and grow and eat some stick walking sticks can be some of the biggest insects in the world as the baby walking stick eats she grows as she grows her outer shell or casing becomes tight. That's her exoskeleton. The baby walking stick wiggles and stretches and she sheds her casing and grows a new one. Shedding a casing or an exoskeleton and growing a new one is called molting. When one exoskeleton is shed, the body growing inside hardens and forms a new exoskeleton. The walking stick blends into the forest. Good trick, walking stick. One of the walking stick's best tricks is the ability to be camouflaged. 
That means it's able to look just like the things around it. That way predators can't see it. If you are in an area where walking sticks might be living, you can challenge yourself to be a super detective. See if you can spot one. But here comes a bird with keen eyes. Keen eyes means it has really good eyes. Swoop! It grabs the walking stick. The stick insect squirts a bad smelling juice. Ick! The bird spits the walking stick out. So see, the walking stick not only can camouflage itself and make itself look like a stick, it also can spray that smelly spray that tastes bad and makes the predator drop it. Uh-oh, young insect has lost a leg. That is all right. She will grow a new one when she grows a new exoskeleton. Good trick, walking stick. The walking stick will molt six times before it is fully grown. One form of defense or a way that it stays safe is that young walking sticks are able to grow back their legs. And that is called a taunt. Auto Tommy. The stick insect climbs looking for food. Up, up, up she goes. The tree has many leaves. The stick insect will not go hungry. The tree is filled with other stick insects. She will not be alone. So they use two claws and suction cups on the bottoms of their legs, and that helps them to climb. In the light of the day, she sits perfectly still on a twig. She has turned colors to match the bark. Good trick, walking stick. Some walking sticks are able to change color with the light or temperature. On a sunny day, that stick insect can turn light. That helps it stay hidden in the sunlight and stay cooler. And at night, the insect darkens in color. It can stay, then stay warmer and hidden in the dark. A great way to stay safe. Along comes a hungry squirrel. Uh-oh, the stick insect sways in the breeze. That means it moves back and forth with the branches. The squirrel comes near. Its tail brushes the stick insect. Too close. Quick as a sneeze, the stick insect pulls in her legs and drops to the floor just like a stick falling off a larger branch. The squirrel scurries away. That means the squirrel ran away. The stick insect is safe. Good trick, walking stick. So they were able to just look even more like a stick by pulling in their legs and falling. The walking stick doesn't move. All day she stays still. She can't run fast. She can't fly. She can only hide, camouflaged like a stick. Some species of walking stick do have wings and can fly. They keep their wings folded and hidden, and when a predator approaches, they flash their wings open, and the colorful, bright wings scare the predator away. The sunlight fades. Darkness comes. It is safe now, so the walking stick climbs back up into the tree. She joins the other walking sticks. She has changed color to match the night. Good trick, walking stick. In the dark, birds are no longer looking for food. Squirrels rest. Only night animals move. Remember, animals that only move at night and sleep during the day are called nocturnal. Munch, munch, crunch, munch. The walking stick moves around too, eating leaves. They eat and eat and eat. Summer begins to fade. Colors pop out on the leaves. Female stick insects spritz their perfume into the cooling air. That means they spray a, a smelly spray. Male walking sticks smell the perfume and they choose mates. The stick insect does not find a mate. Alone, she sits on a twig until from high in the tree, one at a time, her eggs fall to the forest floor. Drop, plop, drop. It is like a slow rain on an autumn day. So that sounds like the beginning of the book. The same thing is going to happen. That means it's her life cycle. She was an egg. She hatched. She grew up. And she laid some more eggs. It says female insects 
Stick insects can produce eggs even without a mate. This is called parthogenesis. If the eggs are not fertilized, they will hatch into girl walking sticks. Frost lulls the woods toward winter sleep. That means it's just moving it into the new season. The air turns crisp and snowflakes drift to the forest floor, but the eggs are safe. Under the snow, inside the seed-like shells, the walking stick's daughters are growing. A daughter is when your mom or dad has a girl. A child that's a girl is called a daughter. Until one day, the snow melts, drip, 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 and spring blooms. Wiggle, 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 pop! Out walk more stick insects. Good trick, walking stick. And that's the end of our story. So in this book, the walking stick can camouflage themselves to look like the trees or the branches or the sticks around it. It can um, flash brightly colored wings if it has it to scare the predators away. It has that exoskeleton to keep them safe. And it sprays a bad smelly liquid that tastes bad and the predators don't want to eat them too. So the walking stick has lots of different ways to protect themselves. Can you tell me what your favorite part of this story was? You can have someone type it up in the comments or you can draw a picture of it. What was your favorite thing that the stick insect could do? See you next time.